the gripping true-life story set amidst the backdrop of the civil war in Somalia in 1991. Amidst the chaos of the civil war, my father, a successful engineer in Somalia, found his life upended. Though he had seven children, our family had always lived modestly, yet others perceived us as prosperous. The war, sparked by General Farah Adid and his rebel forces opposing the government, altered everything. Living in an area controlled by the rebels, my father faced grave danger as a perceived supporter of the Somali government. On the first day of the Civil War, a neighbor, aware of the impending peril, handed my father an AK-47 before fleeing the city. We never learned his fate. Realizing the urgency to survive, my father's trusted friends implored him to leave the city and cross to Medina Town. With a cunning plan to utilize the accents of different sub-clans, they aimed to evade detection at checkpoints. Accompanied by my two older brothers, both under the age of eight, my father embarked on this perilous journey, crossing multiple checkpoints to reach Medina City. Once there, my father and brothers found shelter in a house arranged by his friend. However, my father had left behind me, a newborn, my brother, three sisters, and our mother. During his first trip to Medina, one of his investment partners visited our mother, delivering a tin can filled with money, an unexpected lifeline amidst the sweltering heat and the desperation of our circumstances. Fear hung heavy in the air as stray bullets threatened to separate children from their parents. My mother, ever concerned for my fragile newborn existence, anxiously checked on my well-being, praying for my survival amidst the harrowing chaos. Through immense struggle, my father and the rest of our family managed to navigate to areas controlled by the government, seeking a semblance of safety. From Medina, we were forced to relocate to Kismayo, a neighboring city, as the rebels rapidly captured territory from the weakening government. This time, we traveled by car, a rare luxury in those desperate times when walking became treacherous. My resourceful aunt managed to secure a rented bus. However, as we discovered upon arrival, our entire family could not fit inside the bus. In a heartbreaking act of sacrifice, my aunt made the unimaginable decision to separate her own children from us, allowing our family to occupy the vehicle while she sought another means of transportation. We clung to hope amidst the uncertainty that enveloped us. Upon reaching Kismayo, we sought refuge in yet another house, only to receive news of the rebels' imminent advance to seize the city. In a difficult choice, my father made the painful decision to leave us behind, entrusting our safety in that house, while he embarked on a perilous journey to escape to Kenya via boat. His plan was twofold, to provide for us from Kenya and, more importantly, to shield us from the heightened risk of violence. Witnessing the crumbling of our country before our eyes, we lived in constant fear for weeks on end. Everything we had worked for, my father's job, our wealth, our home, vanished, leaving us with nothing but a tin can filled with remnants of our former life. Imagine the weight of starting from scratch, descending from a position of relative affluence into destitution. The uncertainty of the future loomed over us like a shadow, casting doubt on whether things would ever improve or worsen further. The so-called freedom fighters who had fought against the government what price had their struggle exacted? Removing a corrupt regime does not guarantee. As the sun sets over the war-torn city of Kismayo, you find yourself in the shoes of a desperate father, torn apart from your beloved family. The weight of their well-being rests heavily upon your shoulders, urging you to navigate through the treacherous streets with utmost caution. Every step taken, every breath drawn is a testament to the lengths you would go to protect those you hold dear. The echoes of gunfire and distant cries serve as a constant reminder of the danger that lurks around every corner. Shadows dance menacingly along the crumbling walls as you silently maneuver, staying one step ahead of the rebel forces. Your heart beats in synchrony with the pulse of the city, each thump echoing the fear and determination that course through your veins. In this desolate landscape, the hunt for sustenance becomes a matter of survival. Your senses sharpen as you scavenge for scraps of food, water, and any meager resources that could sustain you and offer a glimmer of hope. Every morsel found is a small victory, a precious lifeline to keep you fueled for the challenges that lie ahead. 
Among the ruins, you seek refuge, piecing together a shelter from the remnants of shattered lives. Broken fragments become the building blocks of resilience as you construct a sanctuary amidst the chaos. With each makeshift structure erected, you create a sanctuary infused with love and longing, a testament to your unwavering determination to reunite with your family. Yet, there are moments when confrontation is inevitable. The clash of steel against steel, the crackle of gunfire pierces the air, and your instincts take over. Engaging in swift, calculated combat, you unleash measured strikes, never losing sight of your ultimate goal, to safeguard your own life and ensure your family's future. In this emotional journey, you will navigate the intricate web of survival, love, and sacrifice. Your heart will ache with the burden of separation, and your spirit will soar with the flicker of hope. With each step forward, you inch closer to the reunion that fuels your every breath, your unwavering determination a beacon in the darkest of times. Remember, my dear player, as you embody the spirit of this resilient father, that your actions carry weight beyond the pixels on the screen. May this virtual tale inspire empathy, evoke emotions, and ignite a flame of understanding for the countless real-life heroes who face similar hardships. Welcome to the survival game. Follow power lines to find food and water. Press F on radios for riddles guiding you to resources. Manage food and water bars at the bottom. Beware of enemy mines with sensors. Avoid or face consequences. Combat enemies with weapons or stealth. One life, no saves, good luck.
In depths below where waves do roar, a secret door hides evermore. Beneath the waves it lies in wait, but finding it is not your fate. Seek high and low, both near and far, a table's surface like a shining star. On ladders walked with steps so deft, the key you need is defying depth. What am I? In a building's depths, a mystery concealed, a riddle that yearns to be revealed. Beneath the water's surface, a secret lies, food and water hidden from prying eyes. Seek beneath the waves, dive down below, where submerged treasures wait to bestow. What am I where sustenance is found? Hint, deep within nourishment is bound. The target has disappeared from sight. You hear that strange sound too? Are you Welcome to the survival game. Follow power lines to find food and water. Press F on radios for riddles guiding you to resources. Manage food and water bars at the bottom. Beware of enemy mines with sensors. Avoid or face consequences. Combat enemies with weapons or stealth. One life, no saves. Good luck.
Welcome to the survival game. Follow power lines to find food and water. Press F on radios for riddles guiding you to resources. Manage food and water bars at the bottom. Beware of enemy mines with sensors. Avoid or face consequences. Combat enemies with weapons or stealth. One life, no saves, good luck. We need to tighten our grip on this city. No one should escape our justice. Agreed. We'll show them what happens when they oppose us. Have you tried chewing cot leaf? It makes us fearless and excited. It boosts our energy for the fight. Indeed, cot gives us the courage we need. We become invincible warriors ready to face any challenge. It is certainly a forbidden drug like alcohol. Visual contact.